Tonight's project was the world's most ridiculous filament lamp, LED filament lamp that is, and here it is. It's an electronic power supply in the base and an open filament up here with quite nippy voltages, uh, I have to admit, so it's not really what you'd want to have anywhere people could touch it. Although the current is limited, you could still get quite a zing off it. However, the point is that uh, it's uh, just a free-form LED sort of zigzaggy filament lamp without the glass globe around it. And here's the circuit diagram. Live and neutral. I put two 100 ohm resistors in just because it actually suited it to the base. Uh, this base is salvaged from an existing LED light, so uh, it has these pop-out pins. And by putting on two resistors, I could just pop the resistor leads down and then just push the pins in to wedge against the leads, which is how these make connection. So I used two resistors. I used a bridge rectifier made from discrete 1N4007 diodes. So that's 100 ohm, 100 ohm, bridge rectifier, 1N4007 diode, so that's AC, AC, plus, minus, and then on the output I put a capacitor, 4.7 microfarad, 400 volts. And that, because these operate at very low current, really low current, it means that there's no flicker at all, absolutely nothing. It's just a solid, soft light. Not high current, I have to say, really. It's something like, um, is it 2 milliamps? Through the LEDs, it's really quite low. So there's a discharge resistor across there to stop any nasty surprises. It's one megohm. And then, because I had eight filaments, and the combined voltage of eight filaments would have been too high just to put across this, I put one 10K resistor there. And then I put two separate 10K resistors there. The dissipation is negligible. This one dissipates about... Um, it dissipates more than those ones because it's dropping the bulk of the um, the voltage. Uh, and this one dissipates around about 90 milliwatts. Really nothing major. Um, so that goes out. The filaments are... That goes out to the centre and then they branch out. And one goes to there, and the other one goes to there. And that divides the current so that uh, it uh, goes around and even, evenly. Um, so there we go. And um, that's it. It's really as simple as that. And when I light it, it looks like this. not too bad at all. So there we have it. Uh, quite visually bright. I'm just going to turn uh, turn these lights off. Or is that just going to be too bright if I turn these lights off? It's going to swamp out if I turn these lights off, isn't it? Yeah. But there we go. Um, it is one-sided because, well, the other side lights, but it's more diffused because this is the side the LEDs are mounted on. They had to mount the LEDs specifically around that way, but there we have it. The world's weirdest and biggest LED filament lamp. Oh, and because of the use of a fairly big capacitor, when you turn it off, it fades away. It doesn't just go out, it, it has a slight fade to it, which is quite nice too.